Hey, Sheevy. Beautiful day out. Florida. It's beautiful. Not much to complain about over here, man. Great weather. It's 74 degrees out. Beautiful day. How the hell are you, people? So, I've been putting this off for a while. Obviously, I'm not the kind of person, I mean, I don't really like too much drama stuff on my channels or anything like that. And I try to like keep to myself when things aren't going well. I mean, everything is going great. I mean, the shop is awesome. I just got the, I was just over at the shop all morning putting the vinyls on the windows. It's looking awesome. Hopefully, I'll be open in a couple of days even. Um, so all that stuff's in work and all that stuff is great. But a few weeks ago, I didn't post anything about it. I didn't tell anybody really about it. I mean, my friends, my immediate friends know. The day before Christmas, we were, me and Kayla were moving stuff in and out of my house. And we were, we were being very conscious of the front door. Somehow, we, Kayla thought she closed the door. I thought the door was closed. Somehow, one of the cats came, pushed open the door. As soon as they pushed, at the same time, Taruk was mid-flight flying across the living room and then just like whew, took off and I'm standing in my driveway in front of my truck and Taruk is just soaring through the sky she looks beautiful she really did but she flew whew, right out the house and then she just started flying straight up into the air like she just went right up and it was a really really windy day too i got some videos i'm going to share with you guys that i made that day i just never showed anybody well my bird is officially up in a fucking palm tree not good at all fuck so super windy day she just straight up like caught that gust of wind. She's never flown outside before, so she doesn't even know what it's like to fly with wind, you know what I mean? She's used to flying in my living room. My living room is never windy, obviously. So she just, boom, gust of wind takes her. She's flying, she's soaring. She's like 100 feet up in the air, like she's pretty high. Soaring across the, she goes towards the outside of the neighborhood, and as soon as she was getting towards the outside, she comes turning around, I was calling her, she was coming back towards our direction and she just couldn't get down past that wind gust and it just kept taking her higher and higher so she just went boom she kept going higher and then she soared she probably went a couple streets over from here like this is my house right here she flew boom across this canal across the street into the next street so two streets over was the first tree that she flew into so she flew into that tree. All right, well, this is my life right now. Taruk is right there. Right here in this tree. There. We were packing, we were packing up stuff in the truck. And uh, yeah, she flew outside. We didn't have the, I don't know, we were, I don't even fucking know, but we found her. She's in the top of the tree. Now we're waiting for we're waiting for a fire truck to get here so we can get her out of this fucking tree. Come on, Mama. She's very scared. It's super windy out today. She's a very good flyer, but she's never flown down from something that high ever. She's scared. At least she's keeping busy. We called the fire department. The fire department came out. Um, there's power lines right by the tree and it was in somebody's backyard. Or no, this one was in somebody's front yard. But anyways, they couldn't get the ladder up in the air to, to get my bird out. So they were pretty much, were like, hey, sorry, good luck. We could scare your bird out of this tree and then maybe she'll fly to a better position. So that's what we did. So the firefighter climbed up the ladder because he wouldn't let me climb the ladder. Firefighter climbs up this ladder and uh, scares Taruk out of the tree. Taruk flies out. No joke, she flew to the tallest palm tree in my fucking neighborhood. 
like literally the tallest palm tree in this whole area because it was windy you know so she just she was like oh i'm really high that's the closest thing that she could hit she crash landed into the top of a tree and now she's in a 60 foot palm tree so i'm like great 60 foot palm tree we're in this lady's backyard for a while these people weren't even home so the neighbors are out now they're, now all the neighbors are outside everybody's looking at us my brother's holding a banana up i'm holding up fucking almonds like <laughs> kayla's crying like every, it was crazy like i was nervous like it just i just wanted her to be okay because it was super windy you could tell that like taruk was really scared honestly like she was not having fun at all like she totally regretted flying out of the house so finally these lawnscape people come coming down the street they had a 32 foot ladder and they had like another 25 foot extension pole so I was like, hey guys, like, can you help us? So they came over, they helped us. The one guy calls this 60 foot palm tree. Like 60 feet, I know it doesn't sound like that much, but 60 feet is really high. Like, really high. 30 feet is really high. 60 feet is even, like, this palm tree was at least 50, 60 feet, for sure. So, obviously we can't get to the top of that tree. So this guy goes up, scares Taruk again. Taruk flies down into a smaller palm tree. This palm tree is like, 25 30 feet which is perfect i get on the ladder i got a video getting her down It was a good day. Only only took maybe that was like three or four hours worth of worth of the pain in the ass. Alright? Got her back. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. I just wanted to share that little story with you. Cause it was it happened. In the same area that this happened, she started plucking her feathers. So Kayla came home one day, and Kayla's like, hey. There's feathers all over the bottom of Taruk's cage. Is she molting? And I'm like, no, she's definitely not molting right now. It's still gonna probably be a couple months. Sure shit, she started picking out, not in her chest, even though she has a couple feathers that are missing in her chest. What she really started picking was her wings. And let me go grab her. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Hey, mommy. It's bad, dude. And another thing, this is why I haven't been putting her on my story in a while. I've, I've even had people message me and they're like, oh, why don't we see Taruk in the morning every day? And it's like, dude, it sucks. It's fucking sad, man. Like, it's sad. Like, it's heartbreaking. Like, I wanted to cry when when Kayla and I first saw it. Like, dude, it's sad. Poor babe. Sucks, dude. So... And now it's really bad. Like, it's way worse than it was. Hi, Taruk. You can still see she's still spunky. She's still being sweet. I know, babe. I know. I just want you to be better. So, dude, it's, it sucks, man. Like, look. Remember how beautiful our feathers were? Like, they're perfect. They're perfect. I mean, she's still pretty. She's still super cute. 
Still my little babe. But now we don't know what's wrong. And dude, she's out so much of the day. Like she flies around the house all the time. Look, she has a perch here. She has a perch on the other side of the house. And she has a perch right here. She's been flying on top of the TV. She, dude, she flies on the couch. She plays on the couch. Sorry, my house is a mess right now. Dude, she like, she flies around a lot. Like she gets plenty of interaction. She's got a great, she eats great food, fresh veggies. Like I don't really give her much sugar anymore, but she even still every now and then has like some peppers or like a piece of banana and an almond or something with some sugar in it. Like she gets plenty of affection. We've been very careful about not Touching her, hormonally triggering ah! her. We've been very careful with not touching her beak, not petting her under here, not putting her on her belly, like, or not putting her on her back. Like, we've done that. We've been doing everything. So, we took her. Hold on, baby. Kayla ah! took her to the vet, to ah! the bird clinic. They gave us all these crazy medications, ah! all these, like, different additives to put in her water. So we put all these little additives in our water. It's like hemp oil and uh, some CBD stuff and um, other, I forget what else it is. Uh, names to it. These other like natural things to put in her water to help keep her calm, uh, and chill her out. They gave us this like antibacterial oral medicine because they did find some kind of bacteria, which I they didn't, I don't think they told me the name of it even, which I'm going back to the bird clinic today and we're gonna finish off this in the end of this video. That's where we're about to go right now. I'm about to go back to the bird clinic because it's not getting any better. She's been, we've been treating her with this other stuff for like a week now. Kayla calls the vet clinic yesterday and they tell her, they're like, oh, well, why didn't they just tell you to start doing this other uh, injection, which is way easier to do, and it takes less, and it's your faster results. So there was a miscommunication with the bird clinic. So I'm going there to figure that out now. I guess she's got some kind of bacterial infection going on, some bacteria something. I'm going to find this out in just here in a little bit. Hi. Ralph, what are you doing, dude? Hey. Get out of there. That's the turtle's water. It's going to make you sick. Get out of there. You're going to get salmonella like that, you little turd. <coughs> Crazy cats. <coughs> so that's where we're about to head right now. We're going to Bacco's Bird Clinic here in Deerfield. <coughs> Hi, Tarook. You make me sad, babe. Hi. <coughs> like, look at this, dude. It sucks. It's not, it's bad, man. So, that's that. Let's go, I gotta put you in your carrier and we gotta go, okay? No, I gotta give her injections now. Like, they're gonna show me how to do it today and then for the next 10 days, once a day, I gotta start giving her injections of this medication and hopefully we see some results soon and she stops doing it. Because even yesterday, I came home last night and there's two more feathers on the bottom of her cage. She's literally breaking them off. She's not going to be able to fly soon if she keeps doing it. And then she's going to screw herself because she loves to fly. She loves to play around and fly around all day. And they said she's too young to be having hormonal issues. So that's another thing. Like, <sighs> it's crazy. I wish I could just like ask her what's wrong. Like, what's, can you please tell me what's going on with you? Because this sucks. And it's expensive. Another reason why you need to be really careful having birds like this and animals like this because when things go wrong with them, guess what? It costs way more money than they actually cost. It's really expensive. So keep that in mind. It's not like I could be like, oh, this is going to cost a couple thousand dollars. Let's just get rid of the bird. Yeah, it's not like that. It's just like my kid. So we just waited. We just weed you. You did a very good job. Thank you. So now he's gonna teach me how to give her the injections. So that's gonna be hard. Hopefully it goes well. That sucked. She did not like that at all. I had to grab her with a towel. 
and put it right in her chest. I'm sorry, babe. Alright, so that's that. On our way home right now. Hey, babe, how are you? Are you okay? You'll be alright. So that sucked. I guess these, uh, these bacteria are pretty bad. Hopefully, we should see some results in the next few days. Hopefully, she's gonna stop plucking. I hope. I hope this is what it is, because it sucks, man. I don't like that. She's uncomfortable because of this. It just, it sucks, you know? So, I'm heading home right now. I gotta go put her back in her cage. Give her some treats and some food, some loving. And I gotta go to work and I gotta tattoo. So, let's get her back in her cage. Alright, baby. Look, like, look how bad they are. It's crazy. I gotta put her in her cage. And I gotta go to work, so... We're gonna come back here in a little bit and I'm gonna show you guys how we have to administer this, but I have to wait for Kayla to come here tonight. So it's, it's two o'clock right now. My appointment will be there at three. I gotta take a break, come back here, give her her medicine, and then we'll close out this video and I'll show you how we do it. it sucks, man. But hopefully this is gonna help. Hopefully she'll be okay. Down, because I missed that the freaking finger. A little nub. Gotta get that little nub in there. <laughs> Like that, little nubby. Boom. <laughs> All right, Sam, let's uh, show these people what we're doing on Kenny here. So a we're little finishing skull this. action? Yeah, yeah, a little knee skull rose jammer. It's gonna be sick doing it in color. We just, uh, like I was telling you guys before, we gotta go give Taruk medicine twice a day now, which sucks because like the only, two, the only people that can do it is me and Kayla. So, luckily I live five minutes away. So we gotta go over there. You wanna come to my house, Kenny? Hell yeah, let's do it. Take a little, take a little tat break. Go give Taruk her medicine, see how she's doing. You can see the, meet the animals. Right, you've never been to my house, Dad? No, no, no. Yeah, you can meet the cats, meet my dog. Show you the snake room. <laughs> give Taruk some medicine. I've only been there for YouTube. Well, now you can be there in real life. And you're gonna be on my YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Dang! Dang, man. So, yeah, so I'll see you guys at the house. Now. Here we are, right here. There she is. Kenny came to watch the craziness. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my house, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the craziness. Oh man, alright, let's freaking just get the crate. Alright, so the vet said the easiest way to do this is going to be to put her in the crate and then I'm going to have to put the towel in the crate and try to get her out of the crate and then cradle her in my arms and give her the injection. So I'm going to get the injection ready right now and then I'm going to put her in the crate and then we'll take her out so it's just like a, a slow or a faster process. That gave me all new syringes every time. I know, babe, I'm sorry. I have to do this to you. You're about to. I hope she doesn't get like mean or mad at me. You know, like that's the last thing that I want is her to be fucking skinny. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm gonna have to do this for 10 days straight, twice a day. So I just don't want it to get to a point where like my bird starts to like hate me or she's like scared when I walk up to her, you know? Cause right now she's my baby. I think she'll see that needle and start to realize that she's about to get the- Probably, I would imagine she's smart, you know? So, ah, it sucks. Let's put the cap it does on here. But it is what it is. Like it's, it's a, I have to do it. Yeah. Like she's gotta, she's gotta get her medicine because look, dude, look how bad her wings are. You see that, right? Oh, dude, look at look at that, dude. Like those are flight feathers. Like that's crazy. Yeah. She's picking them off. She's doing it. Yeah. Why is she doing it? Look at that. 
Because of this bacterial infection. Oh, right. she's trying to get it out. Like, dude, look at that thing. Holy crap. Look how bad. Oh, Can't you're look. so pretty. Look at that. Oh, man. This Isn't is that worse. crazy? That's what these were. The, the, these used to be here. Yeah. The, the, those big feathers. Damn, dude. You see it She's still really pretty, though. Yeah, she's still beautiful. And she's just like, dude, her feathers are perfect. She's gorgeous, dude. Like, look at her tail. Yeah, like, none of this gray is here. Like, this is all, like, green. Like, lime green. It sucks. So this is the, 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 the shitty part. Like, I'm going to have to put her in the thing. We're going to have to take her out. Um, I'm going to take her out, and I'm going to hand her to you. And I'm just going to have you hold her, and then I'm just going to give her the injection like that, okay? So let's get rid of you. <laughs> Ronnie, Ralph, get out of here. Come here. Come here. Don't play me, please. I don't want to get bit anymore, though. I'm probably just going to get bit right now. You need to go in here. Okay? I'm sorry. 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 I want her head back. You gotta take your head like this. right she's mad. so see what she's doing right now she's on a water bowl which is one of the things that they said that it could be like this bacteria there's no way there's so many there's so many birds are very susceptible to stuff like this there's so many things that she could have got the bacteria from that it's so hard to avoid you know it just happens they're super susceptible she could easily have just had poop on her foot wet in her water bowl and that's how she got it. <sighs> damn all right well Let's go get back to work. <laughs> what a fun tattoo break, right? <laughs> like, gonna come here, we're gonna harass my bird. I'm so sorry. I really am sorry. Can you step up? Can you please step up? Can you go give her an almond or something? Get it. What did she eat one? And then you gotta go in your cage. Yeah, dude, she got me. She got me there, and she got me. Sucks. Good thing that ain't my tattoo in hand. <laughs> How long did it? Believe it or not, this is my good hand. Exactly. <laughs> How long were you out of tattooing when you got the hip? Three months. Oh really? Yeah. I tattooed the day after I got my finger amputated. I tattooed my friend Ralph the next day, yeah. just to see if I could do it. I was like, How is it? All right, I'm gonna put her away. Good night, guys. I'll show you the bonus footage. I'll show you the end of this tattoo, or as far as we get. So, peace. So this is what we've come down to. She won't even let me touch her. Come here. Can you come here? Can you come on? <sighs> Sucks, dude. So now I'm at this. Now we're at this point where I have to give her a shot in the morning and I have to give her a shot at night. Okay. I work all day. So in the morning, I hang out with her. I have to grab her, give her a shot, which hurts, it's super traumatic. And then at night when I come home from work, when she's normally happy to see me, guess what? I gotta grab her ass again. It sucks. Cause now she's scared to death of me. Like before she used to be super sweet and come right up to me. Now I can't even pet her. She won't even let me touch her. She just. She knows I'm, she thinks I'm gonna grab her and I'm gonna do something to her and put a towel over her and... Ah, oh, that sucks, man. Well, that's it. I gotta go to work. It is what it is. Keep you updated. I'm out.
up here. Damn, that's a wrap.